Alright, what's up everyone? Today we're going to do a 2.x control style tutorial. I'm going to teach you using the gray controller, which will be the first controller uh, plugged into, you know, number one. The red one will be the second one. Down there I've got what two types of uh, using the two controller styles will do. There's the manual, which means you're actually going to be holding both controllers for the entire level, which is the majority of the levels. And then there's auto, which is just setting up a rubber band in which it'll keep you going in the same strafe the entire run. And for, as I'll have listed here, streets and caverns, you don't have to switch strafes for agent. So you can literally have it strafing, yet holding one controller. So you get the benefits of two controllers, while still casually just holding one controller. So some people say that's a good start, but you're still just holding one controller, so it's not too much. So I'll just teach you guys how to set up cruise control and then how to play with it. So we're going to the first level here, Dam. Dam and Runaway are good starter levels for 2.x manual. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here, we're gonna pause, we have both the controllers set up. I'm going to go to 2.2. 2.2 is predominantly used. The only difference between 2.2 and 2.4 is 2.2 you still get to shoot with the first controller. 2.4 you get to shoot with the second controller, which is annoying, but it's helpful for one specific level, depot, pretty much. So we're going to go 2.2. I'm going to go on my second controller. You're going to want to do this pretty much every time. You're going to hold down on the analog stick. See how it's going down. L, hold L and R, and press start, and then let go of it all. You'll see it flipped up so that the neutral position is up now. So what that does is, I mean, now we're literally moving forward without pressing anything. So since it's already going forward, strafing normally would be holding both the C buttons or going in the diagonal corner to strafe. But now you're already moving forward, so if you hold left or right, you'll actually, like fully right, you'll actually be strafing now at full speed. You'll know you'll be at top speed. And you can know you're at top speed by running into a wall for a little bit of time, and then you'll notice Bond bobbling. Bop, 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 bop. It's a good way to tell you're on full speed. Or, of course, once you learn what I teach you, you try the same level you were trying at 1.2 and see if you get the same or better pace with 2.2. And so now we have 2.2 set up. We have it always. It's this is what cruise control is called. Some people mistake rubber banding your controller for cruise control. It's two different things. You use them together, but uh, as when I was a new player, I was confused. I see tons of new players just confused. So cruise control is the LR start while holding down. And then rubber banding is just going the extra step, taking a nice rubber band and wrapping it around your controller or the cord. You want to wrap it around and have it so that it's going to the right. So this is the auto that has I have written down there. So that's for auto. So I would set down my controller, pick up just the first controller. Again, this is a good starter for understanding how 2.x works, but it's not the best for actually learning how to, you know, hold two controllers and play with it. So how 2.x works is in at least one of the cutscenes, you have to watch at least one of the cutscenes. It will build up your speed to be full speed. So essentially, now I'm at full speed because I watched at least the first cutscene. Streets, you want to watch both. But that's not for speed purposes. So depending on the level, if it's bad for whatever reason to watch the first cutscene, you watch the second cutscene. If it's bad to watch the second, you watch the first. If it's good to watch it all, you just watch it all. And 
you have to be holding, you know, if it's already rubber band, it's your set. But if you're playing a level, it's manual. You have to be holding the strafe during the cutscene. So that's prepping up Bond, that's giving him, building him up, up his speed. So once again, for streets or for caverns, like let's say caverns, caverns, you have the B button on the second controller. You can use it in the cutscene. So you just play out this thing, I'm, I'm building speed right now, and right before the cutscene, or like the thing finishes or whatever, before I have control of Bond, I'm able to click B on the elevator, and so you get the .3 saved of speed, and you're flying out that elevator, it's already open. So that's it for the automatic levels. <coughs> now you know how, now you know how 2.x works how to build the speed, and how to easily play it for streets and caverns. So now when you go into depot, runway, dam, you have to switch strafes at some point in the level. So you have to be holding both controllers to be able to do that. Now I have a picture here so it's just easily shown how I would hold both controllers. And I wouldn't just hold them in my hand like this because, you know, you could do it for a second and it might be chill, but if you're grinding hours or whatever, you're going to want to relax your hands. You don't want to cramp up. So instead of holding them, you just let them drop on your lap. You hold how I'm holding. So the first one, this is a pretty standard grip. Most people play like this. So you just move around with this. It's like, if I was to be holding like this, just, you just take away the one hand. I mean, it's as obvious as that, right? But you're just holding that in your hand. It's just one thing. And then you take your other hand. And what I do is I have my middle finger on my Z button. Just for a grip. You might want to use it, you know, for depot. You might actually have to shoot. But for the most part, you want to not click Z. It'll bring up your R aimer from 2.2. But you want to get that good that good strength with this finger, your ring finger, maybe your pinky finger, and your thumb digging into the analog. And then you can alien grip it, it's kind of like kind of like a claw, where you just bring you bring your your pointer finger over, comfortably have it at B. So things will get comfortable as you, you know, as you play and as you get the grip down, as you put it down into your lap. Comfortably Hold it on B, and when you need to, press A. It might be a little less comfortable, but it's just only a few times where you need to press A. So it's like, you're ready for B, you're ready for B. You might have to press A, but you're mainly ready for B. And this is what holds people back from playing 2.2, is they just think that it's so hard to hold the controller, and it might be. You know, I don't blame you. But the earlier you start, especially as a new player, the, the faster you'll be able to learn this. Because if you're just already learning how to strafe, how to move, how to do your thing, and then for the 2.x levels you're learning how to do that now with two controllers, you're going to be a much better, stronger, faster player. And you're going to already have the adaptation. So now you know how to play, let me tell you what levels it's first useful for. So damn, what I like to do is I would be holding strafe skip the first cutscene and I would play out the second one until see that guard on the tower I would wait until the guard on the tower is like cut from the screen and that's how you you give yourself enough time to build full speed now you're getting the point three time save but also there's a truck that's coming out and you don't want that truck to hit you so It'll get in your way. So you'll see right here. So I'm in full speed right now. I'm, I'm going. I'm full speed. Boom, boom. But this truck didn't hit me. I just saved 0.3. And now the only thing making this harder is I'm holding two controllers. But once you get that down, it's really as easy as holding one controller and holding down the C buttons. You know, now you're just holding an analog stick. So pretty easy. Now, with an N64 stick, it could be a little difficult, especially if you have a really crappy one. The cruise control does help, but a really crappy uh, analog stick on an N64 controller like this, over time, you will lose speed. It will be hard 
you'll lose speed switching from left to right. So the Elite does allow small modifications to your controller. The easiest one being playing the first controller, the aimer, with the regular N64 stick, you know, your nice, your nice stick that you've been playing with. And then your second one, you spend $10, you buy a GameCube replacement stick, open up your controller and you pop that in. It's literally as simple as that. This GameCube replacement stick, as you saw in the very beginning of the video when I pushed down to do the cruise control, it's basically a toggle. It's like left, right, instead of now we're at left, now we're at right, you know, with the N64 stick. So it's, it's as easy as holding and holding. It's much better. So once you have all those tools, then you just need to know how to play it right. So damn, you're just playing one strafe until you hit the button and then you switch strafes at the gate. So you're just holding this the entire time, which is left strafe, and then switch to right. Runway, same difference. Holding left strafe until you get the key, then switch to right. Depot, there's a couple strafe changes. All you have to do is just watch the videos, really. Watch videos of other people and you'll know where they're switching strafes at. Um, something like Bunker 1 has no use for 2.x. Something like Frigate, no reason to be playing 2.x. So these are only for levels that you could find helpfulness. So Depot for sure. Streets, Agent for sure. Even the Secret Agent, Double Agent, there's strats. So all these times where you have a time, maybe a 54, or maybe a 23, all these times where you just need that 0.3, you feel like you just need that one boost, well this is your boost, this is your 0.3 save. And all it takes is learning how to just hold controllers and not be stubborn about, about trying it out. And so that's my 2.x control style tutorial. Uh, I hope it helps.